Hello everyone, this is Jay Wolf with Let's Play The Binding of Isaac, Wrath of the Lamb. In the last video we had just defeated Pestilence, I believe. His guts are all over the floor. And we are uh, going to clear, the, or go down to the next floor because I don't want to lose my soul heart. Seeing what's in the curse room because it's probably going to be bad anyway. Oh, that's funny. That's actually the Magdalene scene. The nightmare he's having. Uh, sometimes the game lags a little bit, so... I apologize for the dark screen. Just gonna take a second for it to load. Come on. And this has nothing to do with your computer or whatnot. It's just the way the game was designed in Flash. Sometimes it just really lags like that and there's nothing that can really be done about it. I don't even know how it happens and I don't think really anyone does. If you if you do know how to make that stop happening, uh, definitely post it in the comments. Uh, we'll check that out. But uh, other than that, it's just something that happens. It, 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 the game isn't frozen. It's not you know ruined or whatever. You just have to wait it out. It just takes like an extra 15 seconds. Okay, now these guys are... Uh, they are variants of, of greed, but um, they have uh, little eternal flies hanging around them, and once you kill them, they'll. It's just like how the eternal flies. Oh my god. Just like how the eternal flies are on those little piles of poop, they'll, they'll just turn. They're invincible right now, but they'll, they'll come after me as soon as I kill one of these guys. I'm not good to get cornered by them. There we go. Two bombs. I have plenty of keys. Never have to worry about keys this round. Ooh, the purple one. I actually forget which one that is. I think that's, uh... Is that the growth hormones? Yeah. That's, wow. That's a... I, you don't, I don't see that one very often. So I guess that's speed and damage upgrade. Wow. Okay, so that, I should be pretty powerful at this point. I mean, firing this fast... Uh, he looks really pretty with that bulging forehead and the fetus and everything. Um, yeah, I want to see how much damage I do. Pretty dang fast and powerful. These aren't really even enemies. They're not considered enemies. They're like, I mean, they're very similar to the um, the spike things in Zelda, but I don't remember if the ones in Zelda like really moved at you like that. They're invincible. You can't do anything to them. But, uh, these are just uh, I don't even remember what they're called, but they are just like reap the flies and you kill them. They just every time you hit them, they spit out flies at you, and then when you finally get them, they spit out one of these uh, these fat flies, which are bomb fly. So bomb flies are not necessarily bad because they they blow up, they destroy everything around them. I mean, they may not kill kill it, but they do a, a good sizable amount of damage to all other enemies. So uh, they can clear out other waves of flies or enemies or whatever is around them. So they can be used strategically as well. Oh, a red chest. Oops. Okay, so the red chest had a teleport in it, and it teleported me to the alternate version of the Devil Room, which is considered, the, I guess it's called the God Room. Um, and the God Room differs from the Devil Room in that uh, you usually get a pretty beneficial item, and you don't have to exchange it for any heart containers. So this is the Bible, I believe. And what the Bible does, I believe it gives you flight for the room, but it also can kill... I think it kills mom instantly. So I actually do want to keep this for the end of the game because this will make it really easy. I don't die first. Uh, thank you, Scapular. 
Those enemy heads are just super annoying. Probably one of the worst enemies for annoyance in the game. But uh, did I even get to the? Yeah, I got the treasure. Right. Oh yeah, that's right. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of that health down pill too. That's not good. Whoa, we gotta be careful of stuff like that too. Let's see what's in here. I am curious. Bomb and coins. I'll take it. I don't remember if the remember if the Bible. Let me see. Well, I really want to save her for a room that uh, I need to fly in. Whoa. Like this would be a good use of it, because okay, these guys are just horrible. These are probably the most annoying enemies for me, anyway. I don't even know what you call these guys. These are just like the mask and heart combos. So what it is is uh, these masks will f just walk, you know, hover around the room. Uh, they will attack. They will rush towards you and attack you if uh, you're in their line of sight, which is only you know, e you know, top east, east, west, left, or northwest, east, east and south. Uh, and they are invincible. You can't hurt the masks. The, every mask is tied to a heart. So we see four masks floating around here. We also see four hearts. <clears throat> so when you kill a heart, you actually kill one of the masks. So given that I have such a little health, I, whoa, whoa, see that's exactly. Okay, what happened is uh, <laughs> that's actually funny. The scapular is keeping me alive because. When I got down to such low health, it gave me another soul heart. But these, that's what I'm telling, telling you about. These masks are pretty bad. They'll gang up on you, and they'll trap you to the point where you can't escape, and you're just going to get clobbered by them. So you got to be really careful when dealing with them. They are a pretty nasty enemy. That's another reason why I chose to get the or use the Bible, because I wanted the flying ability so I could really easily maneuver around this area. Okay, this is the library, and the library is actually pretty cool um, because it's like two free items, and I'll explain this in a second. Uh, it normally gives you books, like you'll see. I this is the book of uh, the Anarchist Cookbook, and what this does is this makes bombs just appear randomly around the street, of course, hitting me. Um, so it's it's very similar to the Tower Tarot card. Uh, they do the same thing, except the Tower Terror card's one use. The Anarchist Cookbook is rechargeable. But another cool item is the Book of Shadows, and this is a really good item for many reasons. Um, what it does is, when you activate it, it gives you a long invincibility shield. So as long as this shield is around me, and I think it lasts about 10 seconds, I can just, you know, wail on bosses, not worry, have to worry about getting hit, and it also works on the blood banks too, so if I want to just get a bunch of free money, I can use the Book of Shadows Invincibility Shield to uh, just not have to you know, lose hearts to get that money. Um, and also, I was telling you earlier about uh, the habit, that little the nun's hat thing. It, uh, it has very, very, very good item synergy with uh, the Book of Shadows, to be honest. Uh, if you get the Book of Shadows and the Nun's Hat, the, the Habit, you're pretty much going to be having an easy time beating the game because every two hits you get, you get that 10 second shield, which practically makes you invincible. Practically. I mean, you can still get killed, but it's highly unlikely, and wow, I am really hurt. The next room could be my death. Let's find out. Oh, wow, that's not good. I think I can do this. Oh my god, they're coming, they're coming, they're coming. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. If I make this out, out of here alive, that is going to be pretty impressive. Looks like I, looks like I got it. Whew. Okay. Only two more of these guys left. Only two of them. Stop walking. Well, they can't reach me. So. Well, now we can. Oh, go away, go away. Can you drop a heart, not a troll bomb, please? Thank you. Oof. Oh, well. It's kind of... Uh, you see, at this point in the game, it's kind of a risk to see what else there is, but I only have one heart anyway, and... Going to a boss of this magnitude, one heart, could be bad. So 
know, let's, uh, let's check it out. But uh, I'm going to cut the video right here. Uh, on the next segment, we will uh, finish up Necropolis 1. So stay tuned for that, and thank you for watching.